Okay, I, you know, I'm never sure where to start these videos, but, uh, I'm not sure what the, let's see. Okay, so this is my 25 by 25 greenhouse, and this is my attempt to uh, grow all my own food from uh, fish tanks to rabbit and chicken cages. The rabbits and chickens aren't in here and the fish aren't put in yet. I've been working on this for, it's like a five year project, but this greenhouse part has taken me a good part of two years and probably three with scrounging stuff up. Um, I've been just coming up with enough free time when it's not cold out in the winter time. Um, I just put exhaust fans in and those are just uh, blower motors I got out for free out of uh, house furnaces and then I just laid them sideways and just put a 10 inch duct from Lowe's on there so I think that whole thing there I got like 50 bucks into fans were free obviously I got my beehive right here and it faces out well you can see them flying in and out I'll bet but uh I'm gonna seal that all up so I can and put another entrance over here for them so they can go in or out depending on if it's cold outside they can just fly into the greenhouse and then uh, well let's just see I just put these agri towers in if you're not familiar with agri towers just go to agritowers.com but uh, it's uh, these are pretty phenomenal I bought these like three four years ago from a Craigslist uh, ad because the company at the time if I remember right they only sold them by the uh, semi truckload so it's like one acre of these things stacked five deep or something and yeah I bought like 40 or 50 of them I've got uh, two stacks of nine there and a stack of ten there I decided after I got the tenth one up there that I wanted it a little lower and uh, I'm gonna do all my herbs in there I'm gonna do uh, herbs lettuces and uh, something else I have no idea and then I still have to put uh, a, a, those agri towers well they'll go in here but I'm gonna do some potatoes and I'm doing potatoes in the uh, I'm putting doors in the 55 gallon drum like this and the idea is gonna be to let the potato grow up out of a net pot like that in a 55 gallon drum here and as it's growing then I'll just open and close the door here and cut the potatoes off and then I don't have to dig the plant up or, or kill the plant like you normally would. We're going to play with that with hydro and see how that works out. I'll do a couple of different potatoes in here and uh, then I got a, a 5,000 gallon an hour and, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, pump made by uh, Geo, uh, Geo Earth or something like that. Super efficient, and it feeds a two-inch line up to about 11 feet, 11 and a half feet, and it drops down. You can see, and then the water sits in a two-inch line that's about 10 feet long. That's, that, that's across over. With three half-inch hydro farm uh, connectors on it. And uh, 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 water pressure and volume is phenomenal in here. I'm uh, very, very happy with it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's a decent dripper line. And then I was down at EcoGrow, and Mercedes hooked me up with some uh, hydro halos. And I've plugged them off so there's a restrictor inside here that takes them down to about a half or a third of what they're supposed to be. And uh, it just happens that they're little legs things that they give you here. They just happen to fit right into the aggro tower. And uh, when I had them running at full blast, they're like a fire hydrant, so I had to tame them down a little bit. But. Uh, yeah, it's very, very cool. I'm very, very excited about this. And then on the outside of the greenhouse, I've got some more barrels to finish up in here. And then after I get done with this, I'm on to some fish. But, uh, and then I bought some plants to throw in here to motivate me to keep going. Figure I gotta keep them alive. I gotta have some kind of control in here. I still have to take and wire the place up for uh, thermal switches and stuff for the fans. What else do we got going on in here? 
I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. But, uh, But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the greenhouse so far, and I expect to uh, start, oh, nothing ever happens fast in a greenhouse, even in fact, here I'll show you, you know, we're really early in the season, it's still raining outside, but, uh, just these plants I bought, since I brought them in the greenhouse, they flowered, and they're uh, putting peas on, let me, uh, break one off here. No nutrient out of it, I've just been keeping water on them, keeping them alive, but mm, delicious. And, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I didn't buy any seed stuff, any, or I haven't started any seeds yet. The, uh, give you a little look around if you're interested. These, these are going to, I'm putting doors on the front of these, and I'm going to have rabbits in uh, six of these stacked on top, so three rows, and then two down there that'll just have, uh, stacked on top of each other that are going to have a uh, couple of chickens in it, just for eggs, I'm not butchering chickens, just butchering rabbits. And then the fish portion of it will be these tanks here, and then on top of them um, I'll have the, uh, the water, I'll pump up to the well, they'll be double leveled up on top of these, so you'll see two of these short ones that I've cut stacked on top of each other, I think. That's my plan, and that will let me uh, put the babies in, and I can separate the males from the females, I think. That's my plan. But, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I know that I'm going to get a few hundred fish going, though, and uh, try to figure out what volume you need for a small family. Okay, I'm out because I'm bored to death and I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore.